Hello YouTube, I'm just going out with the store and got a couple beers for the weekend and some spicy hot V8 juice. I don't want to show my eyes because they're swollen. Anyway, my son took me to see Avatar 2 on Christmas Eve. It was such a beautiful movie. And I only had tunnel vision one time before we got into the theater. But it's three hours long, but it is so beautiful. I just thought I'd come outside and see the world. It looks like it's going to rain. Look at them dark skies. Happy New Year to everybody. I uh, hope your family's doing well and you're doing well. And I'm asking for you guys to pray to God to heal my tunnel vision so I'll be able to drive again. That's what I miss the mo most is driving. Because it, it's your freedom. It's your freedom to go when you want to go, you know. So hopefully if I ever... No, when, not if. When I get my settlement, I could get me and Adam both a, a car that ain't too expensive or at least a down payment on them. Not having a car for almost a year is killing me because I'm too old for this, 66. Bad legs, had leg surgery on uh, grandfather's cyst or whatever. I, that's just so boring and uh, sound like an old person talking. Fuck it, I'm still walking even though I'm sick and I've stayed in the house for over a month. I can't stand it. I, I get cabin fever quick. That's what they used to say in Louisville, Kentucky anyway cabin fever that's how my mom had 12 babies that's what they used to say back home this dog will not mind me he keeps wanting to get off and i just took him to bath a couple days ago So, I'm going to have a cigarette. If i got to be alone all the time and nobody to talk to, please do uh, give me some uh, comments so I can answer them. Uh, I'm hoping to get well within a year. I mean, this happened in September, so I really don't like being in these same apartments uh, that I had all the trouble at, which caused this brain damage I have now. But I had nowhere else to go, guys. So, and my son's helping pay the rent even though he don't live here. Somebody's sick. Some, there goes the ambulance. It is Friday in Viva Las Vegas. It looks like it's going to rain. I hope it does. So now I can talk to my gay friend tonight when he gets off of work. He's a hairdresser in Beverly Hills. Uh, we've been on each other 23 years since 1999. And... Uh, He's alcoholic, and so he drives me nuts. And when he gets, when he starts driving me nuts, I just tell him night night because I can't take it no more. You know, if you're not drunk and they're drunk, they get on your nerves. They want to argue constantly. Well, he does anyway. Most alcoholics either want to fight or argue. Oh, it's in the purse. I'm supposed to stop smoking again. I did for seven months when I, they fucked up our car at Hyundai. I don't know if now in the long run it's because well I have my lighter in my tit now. Oh, maybe it's in this side. Uh, maybe God uh, took the car away from us because he knew I was getting ready to get tunnel vision and I would drive whether I had tunnel vision or not to get away from where I'm at. But anyway, I looks like it was I don't know who that is, but they're waving at me. I'm sure he's probably homeless with that big thing, or I don't know. But there's so many homeless and meth heads around here. No wonder I got hurt. And all the bad things that happen to me. But everything happens for a reason. So I'm not going to be bitter about it. I'm going to uh, choose to be a survivor instead of a victim. Happy New Year 2023. I hope it's better than 2022. Because that was the worst year I think of my life. 
had another heart attack on June, in June the 13th or 14th. Had a stroke on 9-11 which, uh, because this homeless guy had like, come in and get some water that stole my other phone. Bouncing my head off the sidewalk. Uh, uh, rolling me backwards in my walker I got here. 